least in on is beyond a transportation corridor. It is the ability to free up potash, grain, energy, and distribute them to a world being held hostage to a political agenda. That's actor and musician Tom Jackson promoting a project called Nistanan. It involves a rail line or pipeline to a new port on Hudson Bay to ship the likes of potash, bitumen, and natural gas through the Arctic. Manitoba's infrastructure minister says this would be separate from the Port of Churchill. This is an opportunity to look at other natural resources that can come to Hudson Bay. And this is what this, this feasibility study is going to be, is where the best place to locate this possible port. The province set aside $7 million toward a Nistanan study. The Calgary-based company behind the project envisions a new port along the Nelson River. Company director Robin Lohr says there's less permafrost on the Nelson and also says the port at Churchill is too small for container ships. Panuk says Churchill can still serve as an ecotourism hub and supply point for the Arctic. That statement comes one year after the feds and province invested almost $300 million to the port of Churchill and the Hudson Bay Railway. In a statement, Northern Affairs Minister Dan Vandal said the port of Churchill is a critical and underused infrastructure connection that is essential for supply chains, local food security, and regional connectivity. The mayor of Churchill, who's also the chair of the board of the Port of Churchill, says he's confident about Churchill's future. Meanwhile, environmentalist Eric Rader says shipping oil or gas through Hudson Bay is a disaster waiting to happen. There's just no way that Hudson Bay can handle bitumen or a spill or a cleanup. Rader says the Hudson Bay coast is too remote for cleanup crews and Manitoba shouldn't be investing in oil and gas. Climate change is here now and it's affecting us and we have to act. No matter how clean and green the existing hydroelectricity is in the province, we can't tie ourselves to fossil fuel projects out of Alberta. It's a terrible idea. Even with provincial backing, a new port faces many challenges. It could cost billions, it would take years to build, and face regulatory approval. Bartley Kivas, CBC News, Winnipeg.